This is data manipulation using deployer package in R. So the first thing that we need to do is to set our working directory. In this case, I have set mine to a location where I have saved my data. So to run this command, then it will be able now to set my location. As you can see it from the console down here, the command has run without any error. Next, we need to load the library and uh, we are going to make good use of the Teddy first package. The beauty about this package is that it comes in with s other several sub packages. For instance, we have the ggplot, which is normally used for data visualization. We have the read R package, which is used to read data into R. We have the deployer package, which is used to conduct data manipulation and several other packages as you can see which are different functionalities now just in case you don't have this package installed then you'll need to use the install dot packages function to install this package and then later load it using the library function now when you load this function you'll be able to see in your console a window resembling this one now loading the library that has enabled me to load the required packages now we want to import data into r and we are making good use of read underscore csv function this is a function which is in read r package so in this function we need to specify the name of the data and this name should correspond to the name that you had used to save your data in your computer and then followed by this option this will tell r that the first rows in your data are column names and then you also need to give a name to your data running this command will now bring in the data into r as you can see we have the data now imported and the column names are given as follows with their respective data types for instance report date is a double data type or cut date is a character data type now continuing let's say that we want to select variables that are of interest to us or before that let's say that you need to view this data and see whether we really imported the correct data and then you need to use the view function now uh, as you can see this is now the data frame that we have imported and uh, you can now validate or ascertain whether it was really the data that you intended to import now say that we want to select some variables because at times you'll find that in a data set that you've imported it might contain several variables and some of those variables are not of interest to your analysis so we need to just select those variables that uh, we want to do our analysis with to do that we need to use the select function Th this is a function in the deployer package now inside this function you need to specify the name of the data set and then followed by those variable names that you are interested in and remember to put the names with the quotes running this command will now enable us to select those variables that we are interested in we can view and see whether 
that selection was done. As you can see from the data frame, the number of variables now have been reduced. That means that we have been able to select the variables that we are interested in. Let's say again that we need to rename variables. Say, for example, some of these variable names are not as good as they look. For instance, crime subcategory, we need to rename it as maybe category. Primary offense description, we need to rename it as just description. To do that, we will need to use again the select function but now incorporating the assignment operator. So we use the select function, specify the name of the data and then now use the assignment operator to rename these variables. For instance, we have renamed reported date to date reported. Sub I mean crime subcategory to just category. We run this command and we will be able to see that the names have been renamed. We can view and see that. So you can see that the names have actually been renamed. Category has been renamed description has been renamed now let's say again that we need to filter rows for instance say uh, because this data is uh, I mean it, it, it contains information of crimes committed in some locations now let's say we only need to have this data containing crimes committed in the neighborhood of Queen Anne. To do that, we will need to filter our data. And we will be using the filter function, which is a function in the deploy package. So in this function, we need to specify the name of the data and then followed by now the variable name that we need to filter our data with. For instance here, we are filtering our data using the neighborhood uh, variable such that we only need those crimes which were committed in the Queen Anne neighborhood. We can run this command and you will see that the command has run correctly then we can view and see if we have filtered our data you can see from the data frame that in the variable of neighborhood na neighborhood it has been filtered to those crimes which were committed only in the queen and neighborhood continuing Let's say, or before that, we can as well filter our data not only by one variable, but by more than one variable. Let's say again, we need to filter our data and looking at this variable called the category, we only need uh, those crimes which are of burglary nature. To do that, we need to add, we, we need to use the filter function, specify the name of the data, and then now the neighborhood as Queen Anne, as we had done earlier, and then add the category variable again and specify the type of the crime. And then we can run this command and we'll be able to see that the function has already filtered 
you can see from the data frame that we have filtered our data now based on the burglary uh, nature of the crime and then also based on Queen and neighborhood now let's say again that we need to create new variables in our data and in this case we are creating new variables based on the existing variables to do that you will need to use the mutate function the mutate function is a function in the deployer package which will allow us to create new variables based on the existing variables now uh, i have also included here a library called lubridate this will allow me to manipulate date variables now looking at the data we have a variable called date reported now we, we need to create a new variable called year and that variable will just have to take the year of which the crime was committed and not the old date just the year one thing again to note is that this date variable is of character type so we need to transform this date variable into date type to do that we will need to use as date function as date function now to transform this variable called date reported into date type and then now specify the format to which now the date will take and then now this year function from uh, the from the library date function i mean library will be able now to pick the year from this variable and then now the mutate function will be able to create a new variable called year and add it to our crime data now running this command it has run without any error then we can see whether we have created a new variable you can see that at the far end we have now created a new variable called here and this variable has only picked the here in the date reported variable next let's say that you want to conduct some summary statistics and uh, you want to conduct based on some certain variables for instance say you want only to count uh, maybe crimes committed per year so you will need to group your data uh, based on the year variable and do that summary statistics so what you need to do you will need to use the group by function this will be able to group your data based on a specified variable so in this group by function you need to specify the name of your data and also the variable name that you would want your data to be grouped by now running this command will be able now to group our data now next now you need to do a summary of your data and depending on the kind of the statistic that you want it could be you want mean variance or any other summary statistic but in our case we have chosen to uh, maybe half count we need counts of crimes committed per year and that one we are using the end function the end function is going to count those uh, uh, rates crime rates based on the year so running this command the command has run uh, correctly 
then we can now view and see whether we did uh, the summary correctly. As you can see from the data frame here, the group by function was able to group our data based on the year and then now we have used the summary function to count the number of crimes committed by year. That is the end of this discussion. Hope it was helpful.